Hey folks, it's that time of the year, the magical time of the year, and we're here to capture this festive spirit. Many people celebrate the holidays in whichever way fits them best. But whether it's a change in the economy or a change in their lifestyle, I find out exactly what people are thinking. My name is Ezekiel Camilleri, and you're watching the Community Update. My name is uh, Blair Sanderson, and I work as a reporter here in Halifax. Boy, what do the holidays mean to me? I suppose I'll give you just the cliche answer, and that is uh, getting together with family would be the primary you know, thing that you do over the holidays. Yeah, I think the holidays for me is it's an important time to sort of slow down and hang out with your family and friends and loved ones. Um, really, it's just ideally a break from, you know, the chaos of the year, a good chance to wind down and uh, get to be with the people that matter the most. But of course, there is a lot of preparation, so it does mean a lot of shopping, a lot of thinking about gifts, getting the house ready, uh, making sure that you have things to do with your family. Usually a big family gathering, um, lots of food, and uh, my family's Christian, so we'll go to church. and celebrate obviously the birth of Jesus and uh, that's kind of what it means to me. Well I have a fairly large extended family uh, from Cape Breton so for me mostly it's meant either going to Cape Breton or having everybody in my family come down and just like a huge family celebration reunion I guess. Very involved process. I, over the years it's definitely changed. I remember Christmas used to be something that just sort of happened to you and it was nothing but joy and fun but then as you become more responsible for, you know, arranging the joy and fun for other people, uh, there's a lot on your plate. So it's it's a mix of everything, right? There's there's good, uh, but it can be stressful as well. So yeah, it's, a, it's an intense time of year for sure. Honest memory from the holidays would be, I moved here from England in 2015. So it would be the Christmas before we moved here, where I was, um, it was the last time I saw my grandparents for a little bit. And it was a really nice time. Everyone was all included together. It was a really special holiday. Uh, in terms of the economy, I would say that we are blessed to still, you know, have decent jobs. Um, you know, maybe we're not being as lavish a as we might have been. So, you know, if things were different, who knows, maybe I'd be planning uh, some kind of fancy vacation. But that's never really been our style. Yeah, I think it's no secret that everything is super expensive these days, um, which means, you know, adding the expenses of buying gifts for a lot of people, obviously, that can make things tight on the wallet. You know, I just try to think about if I am buying a gift for somebody, something that will be the most meaningful to them, you know, regardless of how much it costs, you know, something that's really from the heart. And I think that's really the way to go this year. Um, for me personally, it's like, I've got to be more, a little more thoughtful about like gift giving and like what I'm buying, where I'm going, shopping. I kind of, I look for more meaningful gifts than more expensive gifts, stuff like that. It's good stuff getting more expensive. For Christmas, mostly we've always stayed at home. And so I, I would say that, uh, you know, despite the struggles that I know a lot of people are having, that we tend to be enjoying Christmas at, at the same level that we always have. Oh my gosh, my most cherished memory from the Christmas seasons would be, you know, from my childhood that when I was, you know, in sort of anywhere between, who knows, like five and 12, I suppose, that's kind of the sweet spot, I would say, for enjoying Christmas that, you know, there's Santa Claus and everybody around you seems to be happy and having a good time and, you know, you're kind of allowed to do whatever you want and, you know, you see your cousins and things like that and you watch movies. I used to live like pretty far away from family and my family lived in the Netherlands. So I remember just coming on a plane and just visiting my family. I hadn't seen them in like a year when I was like four years old and just that whole thing, snow, that type of stuff, I guess. Right, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite days of the year is always Christmas Eve. Um, since I was little, my parents always hosted a, a party that night. You know, we'd go to Christmas Eve Mass and we'd get right over there and we'd go back to my family's house and people would come over. There'd be drinks, there'd be lots of great food. Um, it was a chance to see people maybe I didn't see the rest of the year. You know, you enjoy the Christmas movies and of course the presents and the food and everything like that. Um, yeah, and I think even the Christmas movies themselves sort of hit harder and in the right way. So 
for me, the, the most cherished memories would just be in my childhood uh, around the time of the holiday. Oh, my favorite Christmas movie. You know, I do like Elf, which is a newer addition to the to sort of the, the canon of Christmas movies. Um, but my all time favorite, my all time favorite Christmas movie is um, A Christmas Carol, one of the originals that, you know, based on the Charles Dickens novel. And um, I just I, I can watch that over and over again. And, and it is one that I do seem to catch every year. And it gets me in the Christmas spirit is the other thing. You know, other Christmas movies, they're, they're all fantastic. But this one in particular, I think, speaks to the spirit of the season in a way that resonates with me. And uh, even here in Halifax, there's a one man show that they play at the Neptune that I've seen. Um, and so I'll continue to enjoy that, I'm sure, for my entire life. Zeke joins me now to talk about holiday traditions and the joy of the season. Zeke, you look so prepared for Christmas. Tell me how you're feeling. That's correct. Well, I'm feeling very festive yep. this day in particular. I'm going to a Christmas party after this, and uh, I'm looking forward to spending lots of time with my family, right. as we always do. And uh, as for the people I spoke with, a common area I found is that a lot of people are certainly adapting to the, the changing climate of the economy, whether it's like for adapting with the prices yep. that of, of uh, common items or even even just gifts for that matter. But also uh, some people are able to sustain that right. that amount of uh, of economic stress that is faced. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, I, I think all in all, there's just a very there's a, a very heavy sense of hope that people okay. are maintaining with uh, being able to carry on this like this tradition that right. many people have carried on through like, and I feel like the the North American perspective of it too is being able to keep like that tradition going as right. as best as I could. That was actually a very good job you you did out there on the street. But again, like before we went on that short one, in Africa I realized that Christmas is much bigger than you know people can imagine around here in the West. And um, people do big celebrations. You know they go get big food, big table banquet, and so on. But is that what you find here in small communities, especially where you come from? Well, yeah. I mean, personally, me and my family don't, uh, like, well, parts of my family do celebrate specifically the birth of Christ right. and uh, do hold those traditions very deep to heart. And that, to my understanding, is also a very big emphasis uh, yeah. out in Africa for yeah. for what it's worth. But even just the, the, the sheer ability to be able to gather together with friends and families and right. uh, in a sort of in an area of which you can all relate that they're that it's all building up to something whether yeah. it's like your work your work and uh your aspirations that you're building up towards it, it's just it's nice to be able to like take a load off and just yeah. relax now, from your perspective what would you be telling people to focus on this period of the year well just keep your hopes up and uh, yeah. always keep your family ahead of all Hope is not lost, right? <laughs> no, no, of course not. I, I, I really do feel like the, the feelings of that were very strong from the people that I spoke to. Yeah. I mean, the re reason why we, I think we need to emphasize on hope is because uh, with the downturn of the economy and all the things going on out mm. there, people tend to kind of lose it. Mm. And they are feeling like um, probably there's no reason to celebrate. But of course, from what you're saying, it looks like this serious need to celebrate. For right. sure. No, we all need that in some way or another because yeah. it's a it's a way for us all to get together Absolutely. and reflect on like the year yeah. that that has passed. And I mean, yeah, because we all whether it's Christmas or New Year's, it's yeah. it's all a time for us to uh, to recollect and, and to plan for the future. Even. Yeah. So are we looking forward to you doing more of that on the street? Absolutely. No, I'm looking forward for more more celebrations yeah. and uh, being able to share that with anybody that I come across. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't come prepared as you are, as you look today, but I definitely go back home, get yeah. changed, I'm being time to have uh, some celebration. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Zeke, it was good talking to you. Pleasure. This time me. on the cover. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard it there from Zeke. Go out in town there, go have some celebration, have time with family, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>